Hi everyone, I'm making this quick video as a tutorial for some of my friends who are interested in Bitcoin. Um, it's going to be quick, it's going to be an overview of um, how to mine and that kind of thing. Um, hopefully be a, a short video, so if I lose you, please pause it, rewind. Um, but um, hopefully I'll answer some of your questions about mining and mining Bitcoin. If you don't know what Bitcoins are, the first website to go to is weusecoins.com. It's got a great tutorial on what bitcoins are, what, what you can do with it. Um, but basically, bitcoins are a peer-to-peer -peer, uh, currency that you can use over the internet. So once you've figured it out, you're interested. The next thing to do is to go to bitcoin.org. This is uh, the main official site, and you can download um, uh, the software here. Um, it's got it tells you what it is, FAQs, it's got a wiki and a forum, which are probably the two um, main areas that get used the most. Um, it links to charts and how you can be a merchant and that kind of thing. But what we'll do is we'll download the uh, Windows executable here, because that's what most people have. It also runs on Linux um, and Mac. Um, oh. So we'll click download the executable. And we'll go to SourceForge and you save the file. Save it wherever you want to and then um, it'll download here. And, right, so I'm just going to go ahead and open it here and run it. And it installs like anything else. I've already got Bitcoin installed so I'm just going to hit cancel here. And then we'll just take a look at the Bitcoin uh, client itself. So I've got the Bitcoin client up here. It's got you know your standard Windows interface, file, exit, generate coins, your receiving address, addresses, and then options. And this is where I'm going to take you first. Um, I have a four core processor. Um, if I tell it to use all four cores, it'll use 100% of my CPU. So I've only set it to one so that I can mine. Um, obviously, some of these are self explanatory here. I'm not 100% sure on the transaction fees, but um, th that's probably in the wiki and on the forums you can ask that question. So I'll just click here, OK here. Um, under this, you have send coins and then your address book. If you click send coins it'll bring up the screen to uh, be able to send coins to someone. So then you have this long address that you would paste in there. They'd give this to you. It's public. Then you'd give an amount and then you'd say who it's from with a little message if you wanted. And hit cancel here. And then your address book. Your address book is where it stores all your Bitcoin addresses. And this is how you send uh, currency back and forth between people. So you have your sending addresses of who you're sending bitcoins to, and then your receiving addresses of who you're getting bitcoins back from. So you can edit them, so you can give them tags, labels, that kind of thing, or you can create a new address um, anytime you want. So the next part here is your bitcoin address. So that's your actual, you know, that's your address. That's what you give someone. And as I said, you can create a new one anytime you want. You copy it to clipboard, paste it in stuff. Uh, next section here is a balance. That's how much bitcoins you've got. I've got 0.3 bitcoins, or I call them bit cents, or whatever you want to say. Um, so that's that's it there as far as how how you tell what kind of, how many bitcoins you've got. And so then the next section here is your balance. And this sh first tab shows all the transactions that you received um, for uh, your bitcoin uh, wallet. And then the next tab is your sent receive. Um, shows you the back and forth transaction. Of course, your sent, how you, who, who you've sent to, and received. Um, down here, shows you shows me that I've had nine transactions. The number of blocks. Options um, they're based on blocks. So that's the number of blocks that you've actually calculated using your Bitcoin um, program. The next is the number of connections that you're connected to. It's important to have connections when you're first generating coins um, because that's how the, the network works. It connects through other uh, clients to, uh, to, to get, get the next set of work that it has to perform. And then over here um, is your hash rate. And this is important because this is how fast your CPU is calculating. Um, now, more advanced users of this will have a higher hash rate, 
but they calculate a different way which we'll get into a little bit later but that is the basics of the Bitcoin client if you want to get started that's all you need to do right there is just download that and let it run and it will generate bitcoins you're calculating let's you know take a look at when you're going to get the chance to be awarded bitcoins the more blocks you complete um, basically kind of enters you into a lottery from what I understand and ticket and then you have the chance to get receive a payout from the Bitcoin network of up to 50 bitcoins now I, I also believe that you do get smaller amounts of bitcoins um, as your computer does more work over the period and that's how it keeps the integrity of the system and, and encourages you to keep running the client even though there's no payout uh, immediate payout but there's other ways to get a payout discuss that a little bit later too so as I said we can take this hash here which is your you know 1400 kilo hash per second basically and go to the Bitcoin mining calculator and it's pretty simple alright so the Bitcoin mining calculator will help you calculate how many bitcoins you're going to expect it to receive or I'll estimate it. Um, as you mine bitcoins, the algorithm itself is, is based on a difficulty factor. The, the more blocks that are completed, the higher the difficulty gets. So that's what uh, the first set of numbers here is. Um, you don't really need to mess with that um, unless you've got a different mining client or something like that then you have your hash rate which is what we saw previously and now it's also got the exchange rate and this actually just ch updated uh, just tonight so our hash rate is uh, 1.4 and we just click calculate and it'll give us the answer right here so with that hash rate we can expect 0.01 bitcoins um, which is actually like equal to five cents over a month's period it's 0.18 bitcoins or a dollar fifty um, so this is where um, mining through alternate means uh, becomes important and by alternate I mean using your GPU your graphics card your graphics processor and that's what real miners um, start using the client itself you still want to use that client for you know making your general transactions but a lot of people go with a, a Bitcoin um, graphics GPU miner. I'm mining with uh, my GPU at about 86 mega hashes per second. So that calculates out to uh, 0.35 bitcoins per day, um, about three dollars in in US dollars, or it'll be about 10 bitcoins per month if I leave it on 24/7 running Bitcoin. Now the 1.4, you know, that doesn't seem very great, you know, but um, there's also a, a quicker way to get a small amount of bitcoins, and that's the Bitcoin faucet. Um, this website's pretty good um, in in terms of showing you how a transaction works. Um, basically, you uh, you come here, you give it your address, and within maybe about an hour or two or something like that you'll get a little bit of bitcoins to start off so it'll, it's like you know free bitcoins it's about you know zero point zero two bitcoins but that'll get you started so you're probably thinking okay great but you know 1.4 is not great how do I do PU mine I'll get to that in a minute but I want to first you know get to get to what you can do with um, bitcoins uh, there's a lot of things you can do right now um, on the wiki there's a trade section just search for trade and this will it gives you a list of all the different exchanges the internet services you can um, use bitcoins for so you can purchase hosting with bitcoins set up VoIP with bitcoins you can play games with bit trade gift cards um, electronics you can purchase electronics um, and you can actually purchase some types of uh, consumable items like you know sugars and and um, organic foods and things like that um, so there's a lot here 
to go through you know people sell services web design for bitcoins whatever whatever you can think of people sell them for bitcoins and so say you've mined like 50 bitcoins but you don't really want to use them you want to sell them to make a little extra you know US dollars it's not really the intent of bitcoins the intent is for you to purchase buy and sell on bitcoins but if you need to either purchase bitcoin you can go to uh, Mt. Gox and Mt. Gox is an exchange to either buy and sell bitcoins so you can mine like 50 bitcoins and then sell them for whatever the going rate is or you can buy bitcoins for whatever the going rate is and the the best way to do that is to go to um, bitcoin charts um, it has a list of bitcoins versus the US dollar versus the pound versus the euro right now it's sitting the la latest price has been eight dollars and sixty cents so for every bitcoin it is equal to eight dollars and sixty cents it's been going on a pretty big spike lately but um, so that's that's how you determine you can determine an equivalency in value to the US dollar so now you're thinking okay great I can do a lot with this this is kind of interesting I'm really interested in doing this a lot more than I was 20 minutes ago or whatever so the first thing to look at is mining hardware now you know you can mine with pretty much you know you're just your regular standard CPU but as I said it doesn't give you very good hash rates so let's see the video card that I've got running right now is a 4870 and this is says uh, your hash rate you can expect is um, 78 mega hash per second. I'm getting 86, so I'd say that's pretty good. And if you're getting really serious about mining, you want to come down to some of the better cards here. You can you can scan this, and I'll tell you. So you know, right now uh, for price versus um, the power, uh, 5870 is something that a lot of people are looking at because so it does 420 mega hash per second so let's plug that into the Bitcoin miner real quick just to give you a comparison so that's 420 we'll say and just click calculate so that's 1.73 Bitcoin a day or $15 a day um, 52 Bitcoins a month so it's almost $500 a month if you were to trade it into a US currency and then if you've got a lot of currency um, US dollars I should say uh, some of the other um, higher-end cards the 6990 ATIs are the better cards here um, as opposed to the NVIDIA's for some reason uh, probably technical reason I'm not I haven't kept up on it but um, that does about 746 so let's plug that one in 750 we'll plug that in so 750 that's three bitcoins a day or about a hundred a month so that's eight hundred dollars a month so um, those video cards are going for about eight hundred dollars so after about a month uh, theoretically that would pay for your card um, if you are looking for an equivalency in US dollars as I said the idea behind Bitcoin is to use it to trade it not to convert to US dollars It's not really get get rich quick kind of thing um, but you can um, you know if you're a speculator which I'm sure there's a lot of you can probably make a decent amount of money so how do you GUI mine well there's you can GUI mine using a command line it's a really great tutorial on this News Lobster website. It's how to get started with your GPU to mine for bitcoins on Windows. And you just follow this tutorial and that will help you set it up. Um, but if you're not really that technical, but you're very interested in doing this, then I would suggest uh, following the next link. Um, all my links are going to be in order in the bottom of the, bottom of the screen, as I said before. Um, it's a GUI miner. Now let me bring that up for you to show you how that works. So you've got this GUI miner here which will actually use your GPU and not your CPU like the other Bitcoin program to um, mine coins. Now I've got three miners already set up here. Um, 
I'm not going to go into too, too much detail about how to set this up because it's all in that link that I've sent to you. Um, but basically, uh, I just wanted to show you this. Each miner that I've got set up here can mine to what they call pools. Now, miner one I have set to locally. So that's going to be mining locally on my um, Bitcoin client. Um, it actually sets my Bitcoin client up to be a server and then uses that to uh, do the calculations. And of course, this goes back to, you know, you'll get a certain percentage or, you know, you will end up with possibly 50 Bitcoin tokens. You might not end up with 50 Bitcoin tokens. It's kind of like a, you know, a toss up as to if you're going to get a large number of tokens. But the other two miners, they go to uh, an external pool and those pools basically pool many other miners together and distribute the winnings so to speak over everyone else so um, I've actually made in probably about 16 hours um, 0.25 Bitcoin I'm, I haven't been really mining like dedicated mining um, but but mining in a pool if you're on a slower connection in my opinion is probably a better way to go if you're using a video card that doesn't have a high capacity like a 5870 or like I've got is a 4870, I'd probably recommend a pool because you're going to get a small amount of payout each time that it does some calculations. Um, so, you know, that's essentially the essence of mining bitcoins. Um, if you've got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them in the comments below. Um, and uh, hopefully this was helpful for you guys.